Eretz Yisrael. Well, he extends that, as you mentioned, my Judea and Samaria, which he says is the land of our ancestors, where Abraham and David and so on uh, walked. This is indeed an articulation of the claim to Eretz Yisrael as set forth in 1947 by Rabbi Fishman when he presented a formal map to the United Nations Special Committee on Palestine when the Jewish agency was advancing its proposition as to what constituted Eretz Israel or the land of Israel. Well, it went further than Judea and Samaria, Ralph. It goes to... They produced a map, as we've often discussed on Taking Aim, based upon the second volume of Theodor Herzl's historic work on uh, on the Zionist project. And the map, I believe it's on page 731 of volume two, two sets forth unmistakably and clearly what do these people, and that includes uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, what do they mean by Eretz Israel or the land of Israel? All of Palestine, all of Cisjordan, all of Lebanon, two-thirds of Iraq, one-half of Syria, the southern tier of Turkey, one-third of Arabia, Egypt, up to the Nile, including Cairo, indeed, even Kuwait, there is a very... And Lebanon un- up to the Latani. No, not all of Lebanon, Maya. Ah. The map includes all of Lebanon, as I mentioned, half of Syria, two-thirds of Iraq, southern tier of Turkey, Cis Jordan. I mean, it is indeed a region which is considered by the Zionists from their inception to be the project. And every spokesperson has articulated the view that these questions of what constitutes the land are on a timetable. And the Palestinians are usurpers. They have no historic relation to this land. They are simply a remnant opportunist nomadic tribal uh, presence who have intruded themselves upon Eretz Israel. And what's extraordinary about this, of course, is that Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu is descended from people who have no relation to Palestine, historic or other, because Ashkenazim or European Jews, such as Mr. Netanyahu or, or ourselves for that matter, are in fact descendants of the Khazars, a uh, 8th and 9th century uh, empire uh, that converted to Judaism at the time, from which European Jews are descended. Indeed, uh, as I've often discussed, if one wanted any any, as it were, uh, scientific data which demonstrates the ethnic origins of European Jewry for what the hell it matters, I propose the question of Palestine, but, but here's the point. European Jews are susceptible to a, a genetic condition known as Tay-Sachs disease, analogous to what African Americans suffer with sickle cell, si- anemia. Sickle cell anemia. What's interesting about this is that only European Jews are susceptible to this genetic trait. No Semitic people is. That means none of the Jews from the Arab East, the Misrahim. From Yemen or from Iraq. Yemen or Iraq or North Africa or any of the areas of the of the region. Because like their Arab brothers and sisters who are as are the the Arab Jews. The Palestinians would be converts to Islam. Well, the point is very ironic, uh, as we've often made it, and I think we should take just this brief moment to uh, emphasize this. Who do you think was converted to the proselytizing and dynamic Islamic r- religion in the uh, 6th century? The indigenous inhabitants. They were Jews. They were non-believers. They were Zoroastrians. They were people of various local religious uh, and other views, animist views. The irony of all this is that the Palestinian people have a, a greater genetic link to the Jews of the region by descent than certainly than the Ashkenazim who have no relation to this region whatsoever. So the, this is essentially a racist and pseudoscientific attempt historically to lay claim to an area and to translate their their god into a real estate agent. This belongs to you and this belongs to you and da 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 There is no remote scintilla of evidence to re- to establish a relationship between 
Jews in the world today and this region, none whatsoever, because the Jews of the period were expelled to Babylonia, and the remaining tribes were entirely assimilated to the populations of the area. And indeed, they are the antecedents of the Palestinian population. They have a greater relationship to the Hebrews of the early period than any Ashkenazim who is none whatsoever, by way of punctuating the irony and the point about the nature of a colonial settler project as an instrument of imperial conquest and nothing more.